This is the 2023-2024 uh, round of 16's Champions League draw. Copenhagen gets Man City. Let's talk about that one first. Copenhagen gets Man City. Who goes through here? It, obviously, it's Man City. Um, I just think Copenhagen, I think Copenhagen did great to get to this round. Um, but now they got to play against a really strong Manchester team. Um, so I think that I think that City will get through this. Um, especially with Holland coming back. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne. I know this sounds crazy. This is going to be the first upset of the Champions League. Arsenal goes out round of 16. FC Porto eliminates them. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm being dead serious with you. I think Porto eliminates them. Listen. Listen. Y'all can L me. It's my first upset. It's my first upset. It's my first upset. I know Arsenal fans are going to get mad at me. But I just think that Arsenal's in a very, very tough competition in the Premier League. Lots going on in the Premier League. Their focus is a lot on the Premier League. Um, I think they might get caught off guard. Porto will park the bus. Porto will make it really ugly. Players will lay on the floor. There might be some red cards. Pepe might punch somebody in the face. Um, but I think I think this might be the first upset of it. Um, we got PSG versus Real Sociedad. I think this is the game to watch. W or L take. I think this is the game of the round of 16. I think this is the this is the one, bro. This is the game. Everyone's looking at a different game. I'm looking at this game. I think this game's awesome. I think Real Sociedad plays press football, open football. Mbappe is going to have a lot of space to run in behind because of how Real Sociedad plays, the way they cook. Kubo's been insane. I think there's going to be a lot of goals in this. I think PSG will win it in the second leg, but it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be a very open game. It's going to be a great attacking games. And I think they're only going to edge it because Mbappe's there. So I think PSG will go through, but it's going to be a it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be a dog fight. Atleti versus Inter. Atletico Madrid versus Inter is going to be a snooze fest, in my opinion. I think they're both gonna, they're both the best defenses out there. Um, but I think Inter's defense is a little bit better. I think Inter will clamp Grisman, and I think uh, Inter's going to pass here. W or L for this one. I think Inter's just going to get past. Maybe maybe real real late goal from like I don't know. Martinez or something, but I think that Inter is going to get past uh, Atletico Madrid. I think that we need to respect Inter. There was a reason they were in the Champions League final. There's a their defense is one of the best in uh, best in Europe. But I think this is just a terrible draw. I think this is a terrible draw because it's two teams that are very defensive. So I think the game might be very very boring. Anyways. But I do want to say, Aleti's been scoring a lot of goals, Shaq. Give me a dub if you agree. If you actually look at Aleti's games this year, they've been scoring a lot of goals. I know I know they're usually a defensive team, but Aleti's actually been scoring, man. Aleti's actually been scoring. Aleti, Aleti's very underrated. I just, I believe in Inter. Dub or L, chat. I believe in Inter. I think Inter have a really good team. I think they have one of the best midfields out there. I think their midfield is very strong. I think their back line is incredible. I think Inter is very, very underrated, bro. I think Inter is actually a really good team. A really good team. Um, so I think Inter wins. We got PSV versus Dortmund. Who do you guys got? PSV versus Dortmund. I'm taking Dortmund. I think Dortmund is, I think we need to respect the Bundesliga this year. Deadass, I'm not lying to y'all. I think the Bundesliga is cooking. Bundesliga teams are cooking. Dortmund won the group of death. Dortmund is a serious team. I think that we have to take them. And also, Dortmund Stadium is one of the hardest stadiums to play in. PSV players got to walk up there. They got to, they got to, they got to, they got to, listen, they got to go. They, uh, listen, I'm, I'm taking Dortmund for this game. All right? Next game, Lazio versus Bayern. With all due respect, I think Bayern ends this in the first game, maybe 7-0. I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I think it's going to be, I think Bayern's going to put hella goals in the first game. I think the first game it's over, man. I think Holland, I think Kane's about to drop, drop, drop a masterclass in game one, maybe 4-0. And then um, and then that one's over, in my opinion. All right. Um Real Madrid versus RB. One one word. Bellingham. 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 That's it. I have nothing else to say. Napoli versus Barcelona. This is not the same Napoli from last year. Napoli easily fell off. Um, Napoli is an incredible team last year, but this year I don't think that they're that good. I think Barca go through here. I think Barca go through here. Honestly, if it was Napoli of last year, I would say Inter's out. I mean, Barca's out. 
if this was the old Napoli of last year, I would say Barca's out. But Napoli, I've watched games from them this year. They just don't look that good. They're not getting the ball in. What's his name? Uh, Ocean Man's assist this weekend was crazy. Um, but as a whole, throughout the year, Napoli hasn't looked that great, in my opinion. Um, so I think Barca can see this one out. Um, so I'm going with Barca. I'm going with Barca. Is that okay for me to go with Barca, lads? Yes or no? Am I okay? Yes or no? So I only really see one ep upset. And I think the only upset is, is Arsenal. I think Arsenal is the only upset, lads. Only Arsenal. Um, and it's not because I think Arsenal's bad. It's not because I think Arsenal's bad. Thoughts on Madrid not signing a right back? And do you think Kepa should keep starting over? Um, I think Ancelotti's top three managers in the world. And if he thinks a goalie should start, he knows best. I'm not even joking, all right? I'm saying that from the bottom of my heart. I think that if Ancelotti thinks someone should be starting, he should be starting. I think Ancelotti's top three managers in the world right now. Um, so in my opinion, and I could be wrong, um, I think that uh, Ancelotti knows what he's doing, you know? So if he thinks that that should be the starting goalie, then roll with it. Your top five managers right now, Arteta, Guardiola, Ancelotti, right now, Xabi Alonso, and Klopp. That's my top five right now. That's my top five right now. We know Arteta been cooking. We know Ancelotti been cooking. Pep been cooking. Xabi Alonso, again, we should probably see how it ends with him too, but... Ruben's doing well at Sporting. Yo, Ru Ruben, Ruben revived Sporting. Ruben deserves a lot of respect. A lot of respect, man. Arteta, yeah, I got Arteta top five. All Spanish managers, a lot of Spanish managers. Yeah, Spanish managers are cooking right now, man. I can't wait for February. I can't wait for February. Because Real Madrid will cook Atletico Madrid. Then after that, they're going to cook Granola Bar. Then after that, they're going to cook RB. Then after that, they're going to cook Sevilla. Then after that, they're going to cook Val Valencia. Then after that, they're going to cook RB again. I can't wait. February is going to be a great great month for Real Madrid. They're going to cook the shit out of all those teams, get the first place where they belong to be, and um, and then GG's, man. GG's. Chat, would you guys say Real Madrid's the strongest right now? Yes or no? Be honest. Real Madrid is all around stacked. Madrid's still cooking. Madrid is in a better place than Barcelona right now. That's true. I think Barca fans can even admit that. Madrid's in a better place. But that's only because Florentino Perez has that shit more under control. The old board kind of fucked Barca. Chat WL take. They just didn't replace the old heads fast enough. Right? During the time that Messi and all them were there, they just kept they kept running the Messi way for too long. Pretty much, this is what I believe, chat, and you guys can help me. Messi was a band-aid on a really big wound. Do y'all agree or disagree? Barca had this really big open cut and it was bleeding. And Messi was the, the glue, like the little band-aid that was holding it together. And the moment he left, everyone can really see the problem now. But because Messi was so good, he held it together for so long. But the truth is they should have started helping Messi and putting people around him so when he left, they were in a better place and the old board didn't do that. And I think that's the problem with Barca now. Now this new board is trying to fix this massive hole and get it fixed, and it's going to take a while now. And it's because Messi was such a good player, he could hold it together. Now they don't have a player like him holding it together. They got to they gotta fix the whole team. Do y'all agree with what I just said there? Yes or no? That's what I believe, and that's why I think Xavi's the right guy for the job because, because you know, you want somebody who knows what the Barca shirt, how much it weighs, and how, how you know, what it, what it means to represent that club, you know? Do I think Xavi's the best manager in the world? No, but I think he's the one who knows Barca the best and going to help them get back to what they need to be.